Bible verses about anxiety and how to overcome it. Anxiety is our worst enemy. It steals our peace, drains us of vitality, and sows seeds of illness and just about every other form of misery. When you worry, you torment yourself. You are basically doing the devil's job for him. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be looking at some Bible verses for when anxiety tries to creep up on you. Before I continue, be sure to hit the like button. Anxiety is a feeling of fear, apprehension, or nervousness about what's going to happen. Anxiety is the opposite of faith. Another word for anxiety is worry. The anxiety that you feel over everyday worries can wear you out. It may bring out chronic fatigue and illness. Worry accomplishes nothing. It does not solve the problem. It only makes it worse. The word worry means tearing at you. And that is exactly what worry does. It tears you apart. How can we avoid the plague of anxiety? By giving it no opportunity to act. By putting our total trust in God and believing His word for what it is. Truth. How to deal with anxiety as a Christian. Trust God. Trusting God is one of the keys to the worry-free life. Having faith in God is an antidote to worry. Your Heavenly Father cares about you and you are not forgotten. Sometimes trusting a promise from God seems too hard to believe. However, this is an area where God keeps His word. He has a track record of keeping promises and of bringing them to pass. He will not fail you either, now or in this matter. Pray. This is a good way to get through the day. Praying without ceasing and not being anxious are strategies for success in life too. Turn whatever worries you have into an opportunity to pray. Bible Verses About Anxiety Psalm 27 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 46 1 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 10 Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 94 19 In the multitude of my thoughts within me, your comforts delight my soul. Psalm 118 verse 6 The Lord is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart, and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24 When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down, and your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25 Anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down, but a kind word makes it glad. Isaiah 26, verse 3 You will keep whoever's mind is steadfast in perfect peace, because he trusts in you. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 but those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 Therefore I tell you, don't be anxious for your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor yet for your body what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? Matthew chapter 6 verse 27 
Which of you, by being anxious, can add one moment to his lifespan? Matthew chapter 6 verse 28 Why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil, neither do they spin. Matthew 6 31 Therefore don't be anxious, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? Or with what will we be clothed? Matthew 6 34 Therefore, don't be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Each day's own evil is sufficient. Matthew chapter 10 verse 19 But when they deliver you up, don't be anxious how or what you will say, for it will be given you in that hour what you will say. Mark chapter 13 verse 11 When they lead you away and deliver you up, don't be anxious beforehand or premeditate what you will say, but say whatever will be given you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Luke 10, 41 Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. Luke 12, 22 He said to his disciples, Therefore, I tell you, don't be anxious for your life, what you will eat, nor yet for your body what you will wear. Luke 12, 25 Which of you by being anxious can add a cubit to its height? Luke 12, 26 If then you aren't able to do even the least things, why are you anxious about the rest? Luke 12, 29 Don't seek what you will eat or what you will drink, neither be anxious. John 14, 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, I give to you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. Romans 8.28 We know that all things work together for good, for those who love God, for those who are called according to His purpose. Philippians 4.6 In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 For God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. I hope this video encouraged you. If it has, please click the like button and I will see you in the next video. Stay blessed.